ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರುದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರುವಶ್ಚ ಕಿಂಧು ವಿವಚ ಪತಿನ ಪಾವನೇ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘಯತಿಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದವಾದವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವಸ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಾಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರ ಧ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೋಹ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತ್ತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪುನಥಪಾಲ್ ಭವದ್ದಿಪೋತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೆ ಚರುಣಾರಭಿಂದ ಜತ್ಪಾದ ಪಲ್ಲವನ ಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಶಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತು ಕಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸುಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಸ್ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಹದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಹದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರಿ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೆ ಹರೆ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈ ಕವಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯುಥಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮ ಪಾಲೌ ಬಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತೋ ದಿಪ್ಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿ ನಿತ್ಯ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟ ಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪುಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶನಾಥ ಭಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ಯ ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ಭಕ್ಷಿ ಜಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ತ್ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜೆ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ 
त्वं भक्ति योग परिभावित हिस्सरोज आससे शुतेक्षित पतो नुनुना तो पुंक्षम जद जद धिया तो उरुगाय विभावयति तत्तद बपु पनयसे सदुनु ग्रहायो त्वं भक्ति योग परिभावित हिस्सरोज आससे शुतेक्षित पतो नुनुना तो पुंक्षम जद जद धिया तो उरुगाय विभावयति तत्तद बपु पनयसे सदनो ग्रहाय गौरीय गोष्ठीपति सिसिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी रघुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल इफ यू आर गोइंग टू गिव यू आर गोइंग टू एंगेज ऑल योर मनी पावर ऑल योर मैन पावर all your educational power whatever power if you have if you are going to put challenge to know that supreme lord still you cannot come out successful gauri goshti pati sisila bhakti siddhanto saraswati goshami ra bhavat paramanshu jagat guru said that if you are going to put all your money power man power educational power whatever power you have to know that supreme lord still it is not possible because only by the help of bhakti chakshu by the help of bhakti chakshu you can see bhagwan you can know bhagwan or no other way open no other way open bhakti yoge na pan manasi pranihite amale apashyat purusham purnam mayancha tadapasrayam that is a shlok about vasudeva vasudeva according to the advice of नारदजी महाराज वेन वॉन्टेड टू कंसेंट विथ फूल भक्ति योगा देन एंड ओनली देन ही कुड सी ए सुप्रीम सुप्रीम लॉर्ड स्टैंडिंग एंड बिहाइंड माया विथ बेंट हेड स्टैंडिंग देर इज नो अदर वे पॉप स्पीकिंग there is a only way to get in contact with that supreme lord there is a only one and single way to get in contact with that supreme lord that is called aprakita shabda brahma but where you can get aprakita shabda brahma that is the main question prabhu speaking only and only way only one way of entry that is if you can take shelter of aprakita shabda brahma then and only then you can get it get in touch with the supreme lord no other way you can aprakita shabda brahma where we can get aprakita shabda brahma descend from that aprakita jagat aprakita shabda brahma descend coming up to be stuck upon us aprakita shabda brahma only coming from up aprakita jagat by the help of guru vishnu i mean from up can come to guru vishnu and from the tongue it can this aprakita shabda brahma can come out then and only then there is opportunity that's why most of our guru varga used to say that pure guru vishnu their aprakita sound box through which aprakita shabda brahma can come and manifest the only way whatever fighting you do whatever thing you do but no other way you can come out failure we are helpless to be frank we are so helpless no other way open. only we have to depend upon guru vishnu भक्ता संजातया भक्त 
Only we can get by the help of Guru Vaishnav, those who are realized soul, already in touch with Supreme Lord. From there, Aprakita Sabda Brahma can descend and come out through their tongue and you can have the scope to hear. That is the secrecy of Bhakti Yoga. By your personal effort, you cannot get Bhakti. It's rare property. Srila Bhakti Vigyan, Srila Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Maharaj also, that day he was putting one question in front of me, yesterday, in boat. Every day, someone other kind of question. Bhakti Vigyan Bharti Goswami used to say the same thing. That Bhakti is so rare, without the help, without the kipa of pure Guru Vishnu, you cannot get. Now some question coming that if we need to travel, I mean take darshan of deity, everything, take darshan of Dham, Parikram, we will have to get the association of Pranayi Bhakta. Pranayi Bhakta, man, those who are already having loveful attachment for Bhagavan. Already having, maybe they are, maybe they are eternal, maybe they are eternally, eternal Siddha Bhakta, or they are Sadhan Siddha, it's not a matter. If Sadhan Siddha is same, Nitya Siddha, okay. So you need to go for darshan of different places of and a Vishnu Tirtha by the association of Pranayi Bhakta, who is having loveful, strong attachment unto Lotus Feet of Bhagavan. Only they can show you down. I can give you example. First of all, Srila Jibugo Saint Braj, Jibugo Saint Bhat was successful to take darshan of whole Gaurdham by the help of Nityananda Prabhu. Follow? This way, Srinivasa Jo successful by, you know, what is his name? Our Ishan Taku. Ishan Taku was successful to do Parikram, total. This way, by the association of Prabhupada, Parikrama, Gaurdham Parikrama was there. Gaurdham Parikrama. Gaur Mandal Parikrama also. Sometime. But all the time it is not possible. Suppose Sila Bhakti Puri Goswami Maharaj is now very old age. He is lying on bread lying on bed and it's okay, health is okay, but he is going to give me instruction that you all go for Parikram under the guidance of this Maharaj. In that case, we cannot get any kipa. In that case, we cannot get any kipa of the We can get. Because the order of Guru Vishnu very important. By the order of Guru Vishnab, one pure Guru Vishnab is okay, you can go. Nishinga Bali here, there. Then surely the power of the Vishnab, I mean in fine form that Vishnab is there. So in that case, there is no way to believe that we are not getting any kipa unless really we are traveling and giving energy and money. Not that. You should have strong belief. Order of Guru Vaishnav means the order of Bhagavan. You believe it or not? Order of Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnav means the order of Bhagavan. So you know now. So if you think, if you feel pain, oh, we are unnecessarily traveling. No, not that. This way, Guru Mahi used to say, in the Kirtan of 
all the kirtan written by Nortam Thakur, Bhakti Minot Thakur, they wrote long before, maybe 100, 150 years back. The kirtan is there in the form of Aprakita Sabda Brahma. Do you believe what Bhakti Minot Thakur writing is Sabda Brahma? Yes or not? Yes. But everybody writing not Sabda Brahma. Bhakti Muntra writing, Nautam Thakur writing. Guru Padma used to say that Sabda Brahma in the form of Kirtan there. If we are going to do this Kirtan, power is there inside Kirtan. Guru Mahaj used to say many times, all full power there in Kirtan, Nautam Thakur, Bhakti Thakur, whenever you do from heart, Kipa can come and mold your heart. It's you. And many times Guru Padmani used to say, you have no right to change even dot, full stop, coma, nothing. Whatever written by Narthamada Guru, Bhakti Thakur, you have no right to change. Even you cannot add one line. Suppose somebody, after doing Kirtan, to, you know, reconcile, add one sound to make the uh, sound, uh, to make the kirtan more sweet or rhythm can be more practical. But still, Guru Bhagavan whatever written, we'll have to, you have no right to change even word, any dot, full stop, uh, comma, nothing. So there is no scope to think that way. That we are unnecessarily travelling, not that. Sometimes Guru Vashtam not going. Kaur Mandal Parikama, sometimes Prabhupada have no time. Sometimes by car going and join them, sometimes coming, what do say, I am going. That doesn't mean they are all Parikama, they are useless, their money lost, wastage of time. You should not think that. Then what is the utility of our Guru Varga, Guru Parampara? No use, no? So, Shabda Brahma is the only way. By the help of Shabda Brahma, if we, we can get in touch with that Aprakita, Jagat, no other way open. Now, point is there. Tvam Bhakti Yoga Parivavita Hissaroja Asase. In third canto, it is not here. It is not here in third canto. Tvam bhakti yoga paribhad, paribhavit hitsaroj asase. Shutek chita patanununatu bhumsa. Tvam, Tvam means Bhagavan, bhakti yoga paribhavit. When my heart is totally overflowing bhakti, bhakti, and all my bhava is full of bhakti, bhakti bhava. Tvam bhakti yoga paribhavit. Hit saroju asase. Automatically, you, according to the ba, according to the Baba of that devotee, we appear. You appear inside the heart of that devotee. And how? Bale shutek chito pato nununap nonumin nischito meva. Affirmative. Shutek chito pato. Many times, Baba used to say. If you like to, many times Boba used to say, if you like to see a prakita vastu out, out of your own power, I can see Chaitanya Man, I can see the deity. That is called false ego. That's when you are totally blind. It can prove, if you speak this way, I like to see Vindavan, I can go, I have a plane ticket. That's when you are blind, number one. I told you yesterday, na? Bhute Pashanti Barbara. Those were foolish. After everything missing, lost. Oh, he told Guru Dev to do it. I lost. Everything missing. Then what is it? Then what use? If you cry, then everything missed. Everything gone, na? So, king, after hearing the situation, is thinking. He can see everything. All minister, all king not going anywhere. 
they are going to engage spy. Whatever, whatever, the news coming, they assembly in their heart. And according to that, they are going to take decision. <laughs> it's the nature. And those are Pandit, they can take decision by their intellect. Very fine, very fine brain. They can know past, and Guru Vaishnav can see whatever past, present and future, everything. They, their darshan is so clear, what is going to happen, so everything. And Pashobo, Pashanti and those who are foolish, all Popa told everything. If we are not going to follow, what will happen? Popa used to say, if somebody First of all, try to see everything by their sense organ. I see everything. That means he become an idiot, foolish. Whenever you are trying to see everything by eyes, that means you are a material man. Like all material men, you see, coming from Bombay here, they, oh, we can go to Vrindavan, see, Bihari, Lal, Ki, Jai Ho. They are going. But they cannot see Bihari, Lal. They cannot see. They can go and keep, take some malai, card, everything, and give some garden, everything, and come back. This way they cannot see. They cannot see. So, Papa speaking, whenever you are trying to see that practical object by your personal effort, then you are number one foolish. So, what is the procedure? Popat many times used to say, you will, you will have to see that Aprakita Jagat by the help of ear. By the help of ear, you will have to see. I mean, first you will have to hear all Harikatha, all everything. After that, you can get the scope to see what is what in Aprakita Jagat. First of all, you, if your hearing is okay, if your hearing Sabda Brahma coming here inside, it can, you can feel some reaction inside heart. Then you can see. Shutekshita pato nonunato pungsham. Jad jad dhiya urugayo vibhavayati. According, Nortamudaguru also writing same thing. In your bhajan, what you are doing, in your siddhi, you can get same thing. Bhajane, Babi Bebya Siddhi De Pai Bengal. You are doing bhajan like crazy and you can expect Nandananda Krishna with Bhangshi Vinod can come to, uh, to in front of you at the time of your death. How you can expect? Not possible. It is not possible. Our Gauriya devotee, many such examples. One or two I can give. One South Indian devotee one South Indian, two devotees, one from Gujarat, Purushottam Prabhu, and another, his name is uh, very important, I always speak. I stay in, in, in his bhajan kutir. Jovi, okay, anyway, that two devotees used to stay. Then now, that this devotee is going to leave body. And some devotee asking, what you are watching up? The devotee is going to leave body. Then other devotee asking, what you are looking up? What? I am watching some light. Oh, very light. After that, now what you are watching? He is speaking, Prabhupada coming to give darshan to me. He is watching Prabhupada. So what he is watching, he is going to say. Banu Goswami Maharaj also, at the time of living body. Today I am going to leave body this, around this time. Nobody touch me. I am going to leave body, some devotee out of emotion touch him. Banu Goswami, I cannot go today. After some day, again he, according to suitable time, going to leave body, night time, according to suitable time. 
Keshav Goswami Maharaj asking, now you see Titi, Kati Buddha Titi, what is that? Then Sebok in the temple, Radharani Aruti going on, Radha Binod Bihari, and by chance the garland from the neck of Radharani falling down. And the Seva coming and giving in the neck of Kesavasi Maharaj. And Kesavasi live body. So do you think it is one kind of jugglery? Not so. So, Tvam Bhakti Yoga Paribhavi Dehit Saroju Asase Shotekshita Patan Anunata Pungsham Jad Jad Dhyata Urugaya Vibhavayati According to your Baba, Tat Tat Bapu Pranayashe Sadhanu Grahayo To best to keep on the devotee according to his Baba appear inside him. So Tulsidas Ji can get Darshan of Ramchandra. Our Gauriya devotee can get Darshan of Shyam Sundar according to Baba, Radha Kavinda. Now, actually, we are starting here. Bhakti, Bhakti Yoga chapter, we are starting here. Here we are starting Bhakti Yoga chapter, we are starting. But before that, I like to say that all other procedures like Yoga, Jnana, or maybe uh, Gyan Misra Bhakti, Karma Misra Bhakti, Ultimately, you can, you can come out successful, cannot. There is no guarantee. You can come out, they cannot. There is no guarantee. But in Bhakti Yoga, if you are perfect, no problem. Then, 100% success. Or if you are not successful at all, I mean, some step gone up, but still you can get opportunity to start from that point. It is a commitment of Bhagavan. The case of our Bharat Maharaj. Bharat Maharaj was a great king. He left everything, left everything like stool and urine. All immense treasure, kingdom, wife, children, all power left. And gone outside to do concert in bhajan. You know everything. Rishabh, I mean, I mean Bharat Maharaj started doing bhajan Nepal, Gondoki Nodi, Gondoki River. There was a Gondoki River where salagram automatically coming at the bank of that Gondoki in Nepal. There is one place he started bhajan. Very important place. After that, what, what happened? G Suddenly he find one day that one tiger is shouting and one deer that time she was drinking water. When the tiger is shouting that the deer thought that going to catch me. See without any calculation jump into water because front water, backside tiger where to go? Jump into water. And one baby come out from his belly, coming out and floating in the water, floating away in the current. Bharat Maharaj was doing Annik because that time Annik is Orunodoy, only red color and doing Annik. Suddenly, watching that one baby floating in the water, he could not stop himself. He thought it is my duty to stop. Then immediately gone and catching that baby and drink. And mother already did. Mother, mother already did. After giving birth, mother heart fell and died. She gone. Bharat Maharaj started thinking, it is my responsibility to give support to a helpless creature. It is so I can help. So he is going to take care of that baby. Baby cannot take anything. 
He is going to village, outside village, to arrange some milk to feed that baby. Gradually, he become busy with Jiva Seva, not Bhagavad Seva. He become busy with the Jiva Seva. After that, lost all his bhajan, everything gone, and finally left body. By thinking the dear baby, you know everything. Finally, he took birth as a dear baby, Kalanjar Pradesh. From there, that be, dear, that dear baby after growing up can remember future, then coming same place and waiting to leave the body in Kali Gandaki Nadi river. And finally, he left body crying only. I left everything. After that, he took birth in the form of Jarabharat. So I understand. Of course, there is some explanation I already told. I already told Vishwanathya long ago. But anyway, we can see that due to due to different avinivesh, due to different avinivesh, Bharat Maharaj was fearful. Where the small baby gone, um, surely tiger took tiger took her, took him away, that dear baby. This way, that's why bayam dityo vinivesha tahashat ishat apetasso viparja asriti. Gradually he was delivered. Though he was doing Ganmisra Bhakti, his Bhakti was not, his, his Bhakti was Ganmisra Bhakti. Whereas our, what is name? Karma Misra Bhakti, what name? I forget. Huh? He used to do karma. He used to do karma, I can remember, no problem. He used to do karma misra bhakti. Rantitev. He used to do karma misra bhakti. Not Gan misra. Gan misra is far better. Gan misra, comparatively, Gan misra bhakti is far better than karma misra bhakti. Anyway, he is going to offer all karma in the name of Bhagavan. All fruits. He is not going to keep anything. Karma Mr. Bhakti means you will have to give everything in the name of Bhagavan. Then there is no karma bandhan. No tight bandage of karma you cannot get. Karma Mr. Bhakti. But you were perfect. So Ranti Dev was big king. But somehow, I am not going in details, he was bound to go to forest with family members, everything. Like the case of Harish Chandra. In a forest, for a long time, he is not taking any, no drinking water, no prasadam, but still is going to be here. Finally, what happens? Somehow, one plate of prasadam comes, some chapati rice, sabji, and chatu, sangjap means chatu, I mean uh, chikbit, chikbit powder, everything there, water. Now he is going to take prasadam. In the meantime, one man coming, I am very hungry. Can you give me prasadam? Yes, I can give. Whatever you like, you give, take prasadam. After the rest, going to take another man coming. But well, I am very sick, very tired. You can give me prasadam. Very sick. I need prasadam. Then he is going to give the rest. Then the rest is there, some water rest, a little. Then one chandal finally coming. I'm very thirsty. Can you give me some water? Yes, you know, all water. Then prasadam was in hand, but still there is no scope. All gone. After the Ranti, they praying to Bhagavan, Prabhu, you bless me so that this way, so that this way, I can serve you. Until they are praying to Bhagavan, you bless me so that up to my last moment of life, 
I can serve you this way. I mean through Jivatma. It was the darshan of Jivatma, it, it was the darshan of Rantide that e each and every Jiva there is Paramatma Bhagavan. He is not serving one Jivatma with material conception. He is having this kind of conception that in each and every heart there is Paramatma sitting, so I am serving Paramatma. This way he used to serve. And his service was so perfect, there is no defect in it. So he was successful. Ranti Dev, by following Karma Mishra Bhakti, was successful. Whereas Jarabharat, our Bharatji Maharaj, was not successful by following Gan Mishra Bhakti by chance. Although there is some secret reason I already told. But anyway, externally we see, though he is following Ganami Sarva, this will fail. So Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhav, Uddhav, all other procedures are there. I reserve different kind of opportunity for different, different, because everybody is not going to follow Bhakti Yoga. Every dog, everybody not going to, somebody going to follow. Karma is Sabadhi, Sabadhi. I give no Raya Ramananda Sangbhad. I already discussed Ramananda two years back. Thorough discussion of Raya Ramananda Sangbhad. There you can find, right from the beginning, Mahaprabhu starting. Mahaprabhu asking to Raya Mahasaya, what is the way to go to Bhagavan. Gradually, then first of all, karma, 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 bhakti, gyan mishra bhakti, everything. Finally, gyan sunna bhakti, gyan sunna bhakti. After that, going to step into pure bhakti, pure means more pure bhakti. After that, uh, raganuga bhakti, after that, after that, Kamanuga Bhakti, which is confined within the group of Gopikas, this way, after that Radharani group, after that finally Radharani. This way, gradually Mahaprabhu is going to start. Varna Sam Dharma is okay. After that Varna Sam Dharma, you can go up. This way up. So Bhagavan speaking to Uddhav, actually, you can, I reserve different kind of way. I, I reserve different kind of opportunity for different, because Adhikar is different. Suppose you have no Adhikar. Suppose you have no Adhikar in Raganuga Bhajan. You forcefully start Raganuga Bhajan. Then fall down is 100%. Suppose you have no right. At, at present, okay, you can get right someday. But at present, no right. But if you forcefully like to start Raganuga Bhajan, then you can. You can fall down. So many times, so many times Prabhupada used to say, Sheshe Adhikari Janishtaha Shagunaha Parikirtata Viparjastu Dosaha Sheshe Adhikare Yanishtaha Shagunaha Parikritata Viparjastu Doshaha. Prabhupada used to say scriptural evidence, this sloka in Bhagavatam. Bhagavan speaking. According to your right, according to your right, you like to stick to your position at present. Until and unless you are getting scope to step up. Until now, you are not going to get step to step up. Then you will have to stick to your own position. By staying in this level, you will like to show, ah, oh, I am big. Then no father can say that. That's why Prabhupada used to say, the confusion arising, if in your life, Prabhupada used to say, if in your life, some confusion arising in, into your heart, Regarding Siddha and Sadhan stage. I mean, you are in Sadhan stage. You think I am Siddha. 
you see the scientific explanation. Whenever I'm thinking about Prabhupada, I think even Bhagavan coming down cannot speak so clearly. Many Prabhupada is going to make X-ray. All cancer, corona going to, I mean, or everything going to make cancer, I mean, scan, and going to speak the truth. So clearly. So cl if you understand, then no, nobody can make fool of you. If you are going to accept the, all the Siddhanta which are Prabhupada from heart, then I'm sure nobody can make fool of you. So Baba speaking, in your life, when one kind of confusion arising, in your life, if one kind of confusion, confusion arising in your life, regarding your stage, you are in Sadhana stage. You think I am Siddha stage. Then Prabhupada is doing that is called Vibartha. Like Prem Vibartha. It is love, but it seems it's angry attitude. It's called Vibartha. It is actually love, but Jagadam is saying the fighting. It is actually Prem Vibartha. I mean, you cannot realize that it is Prem. You can think. So, when in your life this kind of this kind of thing arise, then there is big, big confusion, big problem. So Bhagavan speaking, okay, I already told, I am not like to, I don't like to speak again. Evam prakriti bhai chitra vidyante matayu ninam param parjeno ke sanchit param parjeno ke sanchit and pasando matayu apare. Pasando matayu apare, this word you should understand. Param Parjena ke Sanjit. Mane the Bhagavan want to say that their parampara also come. I mean the flow of Bhakti Vinod that I told, that is also coming. Somehow it's coming. And the other flow is not authentic. It's called Pashanda Matoya Pari. Pashanda Matoya Pari means those who are heartless. <coughs> <coughs> Those who are heartless, not going to follow Guru Bhargo, no parampara, they don't care. They are given this certificate. Bhagavan is going to give this certificate to them. Otherwise, no question of speaking heartless. Pashanda means, if you translate, Pashanda means heartless. Pashanda, if you translate Sanskrit and Bengali, Hindi also you can say. So, the meaning you can get is heartless. That means you are not at all in a position to do Bhakti Yoga. I mean, Srimad Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu speaking now. Bhagavad Gita Mahaprabhu, second slow. Dharma, Dharma, Prajita Kaitavatta Paramanirma Saranam Satam Vedyam Vastava Matra Vastu Sivadam Tapatva Munmulanam. This. Last day you say, Nirma Saranam Satam. Matsar is such a matsarata, jealousy, is such a disease. No solution. No solution. Matsarata is so dangerous. You can go down and down. Never you can start. Bhagavad Dharma is, you know, Atma Dharma, pure Bhagavad Dharma. No question. So, Param Parjana Kesanchit. Kesanchit, why speaking? Keno chit, kesan chit, kenapi in Sanskrit. Mane according to linga, different, different. Mane according to the opinion of Bhagavan, Bhagavan speaking, Siddhanta, they according to parampara, some flow of my Bhagavad Dharma going on. Okay. And the rest, kesan chit. Some of them, Pashanna Matayo Apare. Some of them develop, some of them develop some peculiar, peculiar Siddhanta Vijaya. Pashanna Matayo. They are Siddhanta Vijaya, everything, all heartless Siddhanta. Pashanna Matayo. Pashanna Matayo Apare. All other, they are following their whimsical attitude and going to distort or distorted representation of the fact. 
Yesterday I was speaking that what I forget. I was speaking, I forget. Anyway, I can remember. Yesterday I was speaking that Bhagavan Sri Krishna, Bhagavan Sri Krishna, I forget the idea. Anyway, I can speak after. So, Bhagavan speaking, Man mayaya mohito dhiya, Man mayaya bihoto bihito dhiya. Man mayaya, man mayaya mohito dhiya ha, purusha ha, purusha sava. Sriyo badanti, badanti anekantam yatha karmam yatha ruchi. According to the taste and feeling, they are going to represent this dharma, different, different dharma. Different people, some of them speaking about Satya, Dhamo, Shamo, I mean, somebody speaking Tapasya, Gyan, different, different Yoga, so different, different way. Adya, Bhajan, this way, are Kechit, Yogo, Tapo, Dhyanam, Vratani, Niyamana, Jamana. Some of them passing opinion, like in the case of Parikshit Maharaj. When Parikshit Maharaj in, was there sitting in Pohyapabhishan, all different kind of receivers coming and they are passing different, different kind of suggestion. Different kind of suggestion. Some of them speak in this, some of them speak in this. Some of them. This way, when Sukadeva Goswami coming, the all problem is over. Because he was Joginam Param Guru. He was. So, now speaking that somebody speaking this, somebody speaking Kama, Satyam, Dhamam, Shamam, Anne, Badanti, Swartham, Bhavi, Sarjam, Tag, Bhujana, everything. Or Kechit. Yogya Tapadhyanam Vratani Niyamana Jamana. Niyam, Jam, different kind of tapasya or donation than different kind of opinion we can hear. Bhagavan speaking that actually Adyanta Bantu Evaisham Lokaha Karmo Vinirmitaha. This is a strange, this is a strange, you know, manifestation of this material world. There is diversity, different, different kind. All diversity. Adyanta bantu evaisham lokaha karmo vinirmita. This material world is there according to different, different karma, different people, different doing, different karma. And it has some beginning and end. No stability. Adhyanta Bhanta means Adi Anto Evo Esham. Nishit, definitely, this material world is karma vinirmita. All people feeling to do something, karma, karmi. <coughs> and according to their desire, all the material world. In the beginning, of creation, there was only world. World was the first of even world was not there. After this, Mahatattva Dev Bhagavan look at Prakriti, Prakriti feel Birja, then agitation. After that, Mahatattva, Mahatattva divided into different parts. After that, different, different Tattva arises. Pancho Karmendiyo, Pancho Gyanendiyo. First of all, arise Satarajatama. Satogun going to give birth to all demigods. Rajagun, all saints. Indriyo. Tamagun going to give different, different things. Eh? I mean, Kitiya Patej Marudvam, all feeling about that. Tanmatro. This way, everything arises. <coughs> After that, Men become gentle, 
they start doing some good job, good in their opinion, after the creation, whole world. At present civilization, present civilization, how coming? This way, no? people like to do something. People have their desire to do something. Out of that, all at present material world you can find. Everybody has some inspiration to do something, be it economical or big, uh, scientific or anything. They are doing something. That's why Bhagavan speaking that this way, Adyanta Bhante Evaisham Lokaha Karma Vinirmitaha Dukkho Darka Dukkho Darka Tamonishtha Khudra Manda Sucharpita and Karma Vinirmita, this world is erected by karma automatically, this kind of situation. Different, different karma. And going to put you in the ocean of misery, I mean problem. Dukkho Darka Tamonishtha. Most of the people they are busy with tamagun, tamonishtha. And khudra, khudra manda sucharpita. They are doing karma, but finally they are going to express some grief. Mane, whatever you are doing, you cannot get satisfaction. Finally, ultimately, you will have to feel some reaction for that. Because any karma, you know it very well. Each and every karma has its equal and opposite reaction. New stand told. Every action has its equal and opposite reaction. Though scientists speaking, though scientists speaking, but still it's true. Because any karma, whatever you are doing, you are responsible for that. And you will have to get the result for that. Whatever karma you are doing, you will, you will have to get the result for that. Nobody going to take. So, avasya meva bhaktyabhya, kita karma subhashubham. All subhashubha karma you will have to do. So, ultimately those material karma is externally very sweet, very nice looking. We are enjoying different kind of physical amenities, different kind of, okay. But finally, going to put you in, in the ocean of miseries. Because ultimately, it's nothing there. Dukho darka tamo khudraha manda sucharpita. You will have to repent for that. Finally. Of course, if you, if you develop consciousness, then 100%. If 100% consciousness is not coming, still you can feel something. Everybody doing something. After that, not satisfied. You ask everybody, you are satisfied? Nobody is satisfied. They are not satisfied. Bhagavan now speaking, Maryat Maya Pita Atmana Sabbo Nirapekshasya Sarvataha Mayatmana Sukham Jatat Kutaha Shat Vishwatmanam. Well, you are free to deal with matter because anyway, nobody is going to obey me. Bhagavan speaking, those who are dealing with matter, going to make material Im improvement, development, everything they can. They can do it, but they never can get satisfaction like a devotee whose heart and mind, everything resting unto my lotus feet. That is exclusive enjoyment. No tension. No tension, no fighting, nothing. Always busy with Bhagavad Bhajan. Bhagavan speaking, how they can get, how they can expect, how they can expect that kind of enjoyment, how they can expect that kind of ananda, what is available with a devotee whose mind and heart resting unto my lotus feet. Where they can get? Those who are busy with material de development, these that, where they can get? Because 
Bhagavan is Shukha Sharu. I mean the all source of all enjoyment, all source of a blissful feeling coming from Bhagavan. Nowhere. It is coming from Bhagavan. All Ananda, Ananda Brahma. Ananda Brahma. Uh, after that you see, Bhagavan is surely Anandamaya. And jivas are going to get Ananda bliss from Him. This way, in Upanishad also written, Anandam Brahma. And jivas are getting Ananda from Him and getting something. Directly or indirectly? Indirectly means through Maya. Indirectly means Bhatirik, through Maya. And directly means when you are connected with Bhagavan by Bhakti Yoga, that you can. So this way, directly or indirectly, whatever enjoyment, whatever enjoyment available in this material world or in Aprakriti Jagat, all coming from, from Bhagavan. Bhagavan is the source of Ananda. So, if you are going to leave Bhagavan, and want to get enjoyment from other source, how you can expect? Then Bhagavan speaking, Akinchana Sadantasya Santusya Samacheta Saha Maya Santusya Mana Saha Sarvaha Sukha Maya Disha Those were Niskinchan. Niskanchan means what do you, what is the meaning of Niskinchan? Everybody is speaking Niskinchan. But you know the meaning of Niskinchan. When you are going to accept from your heart that Bhagavan is the only property in my life, then you can be called. Like Prabhupada having 64 different modes all around. But Prabhupada speaking, I have nothing. That is called Niskin Janma. So Niskin Jan means when you are going to accept from heart that Bhagavan is the only property in my life, not going to pay attention to any property, money, anything. Only support Bhagavan is the only property. In that case, you are Niskin Jan. Otherwise, you are not Niskin Jan. Niskin Jan is not a matter of joke. Bhagavan Krishna speaking. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Rukini Devi. That I am Niskincha. You are Niskincha. Infinity Brahmanda, you are the owner of infinity Brahmanda. But Krishna said, No, I am Niskincha. I really so. Krishna is number one Niskincha. You can say, Maharaj doing Rasa Lila, how is Niskincha? You cannot realize. You will have to go up to that level, then you can realize. If I go on speaking, you cannot understand. Really so. Krishna is number one Niskincha. Krishna is number one Brahmachari. Krishna is number one Sannyasi. All possible. Because we know, Aishajyasya Samagrasya Vijyasya Jasya Sastriyo Gyano Vairagya Iti Bhago Iti Ingana Saro Bhago Iti Ingana all Saraishajya Purna. Within that, Oishajya Samagos, Bija, Jaso Sastri, everything. Bhairagya also. So when Bhagavan is going to take sannyas, nobody can beat him. He's topmost. Yes or not? And then, who can beat? When Bhagavan is going to show that I am the enjoyer, he's the topmost. Though, because he is not enjoying. He is not touching anything. He, Bhagavan, in different, different Puran, Padma Puran, here, there you can, you need not go if you can give it in confusion. I am going to quote, you know. Bhagavan speaking, whatever I am doing, whatever I am doing, mad bhakto vinodartham, mad bhaktyanam vinodartham karami vividalila. To give satisfaction to my devotees, I am doing this kind of lila. Bhagavan, 
has no desire. I know you cannot believe. Bhagavan has no desire. But still, it is one kind of game. Bhagavan likes to play with all jivas, come to me. New, new player. Bhagavan calling new, new player. You come, come to me. Are you have countless players. Okay. Still, I need new, new, new player. There is a new, new player. No, no cause. What is the cause? You cannot find. Only play, game. Why, why small boys, five years, we used to play whole day and night. Oh. So why people play? Why boys are playing? If you ask me, why used to play? In a day, eight hours. Whole day, play. Why? Because I am getting enjoyment. If somebody asking, why you are playing? You can get money? No money. Then what you are getting? I can get enjoyment. I am getting some enjoyment, na? Which you cannot see. So Bhagavan getting this kind of enjoyment. That's why Bhagavan playing with all devotees. All new, new devotees. In infinity world, infinity devotees. Prakit or Prakit. Still, Bhagavan call. Come, come. You don't know why. Bhagavan, when Shakti is there inside Bhagavan, when internal potency, Antaranga Shakti inside, that is called Shakti. Antaranga Shakti inside Bhagavan. Tatosha Shakti cannot get place. Someday I can discuss. Everybody in confusion. Tatosha Shakti come in by Bhagavan. But Tatosha Shakti has no place inside heart. No, outside. As far Achinda Vedavatta, someday I can discuss. Very interesting. There is no question of confusion. So, when Antaranga Shakti inside Bhagavan, that is called Shakti. When that potency coming and going inside the heart of a devotee, then it becomes Bhakti. I don't understand. That same Shakti. Antaranga Shakti, when going to enter into devotee and come outside, is called Bhakti. Originally Shakti, now it becomes Bhakti. To be frank, Bhagavan is number one devotee. You can love. You cannot believe me. Bhagavan is number one devotee. That's why we like to become devotee someday. If our Sarup is exposed, I mean, I wanted to speak the first answer. Why Krishna Bhagavan speaking, I am Niskin. Then second I can come to this point. Bhagavan speaking, I am Niskinchan. That's why all Niskinchan devotees, they love me. Rukini, you are Niskinchan. Really. Why Krishna Niskinchan? Because Krishna speaking, I have my only one property, in my, only one property in my life. I depend upon that property. What is that property? That is called Shimati Radharani Charan. I depend upon that. That's why it's discussion. 100% scripture. Bhagavan is 100% scripture. But Bhagavan depend upon only Radharani, not even Radharani. That's why Bhagavan speaking, I am Niskinchan. Really Niskinchan. And we deserve that we are Niskinchan. We, are Niskinchan. we depend upon bank money, this, that, oh, society power, this, that. We are not, first of all, to become Niskinchan, or to go up to that level. Anyway, I can discuss this point tomorrow very clearly. So, why it is so? Bhagavan is number one devotee. Bhagavan is Bhakta Bhakti Man. We are Bhakti for Bhagavan, and Bhagavan has Bhakti for us. By opposite. Bhagavan going to show, <coughs> we are going to show Bhakti, Bhakti for Bhagavan. Bhagavan going to show Bhakti for us. You have no idea. That's why Bhagavan is also devotee, but Bhakta Bhakti man. Otherwise, why possible Bhagavan Sri Krishna is the sole owner of infinity world, is the predominate, predominating absolute, and Srimati Radharani is predominated absolute. But Bhagavan Sri Krishna is going to take the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and pull on head. 
but you cannot believe. Bhagavan Sri Jindra speaking. I cannot name, I can speak the name of book because you can go, go through that book. You have no right. You can fall down. Sarogarola mandalam, mama sirasi mandalam, dehi padapallavam mudharum. Follow? I am burning. You give your lotus feet on my head. I can quench my burning heart. Aprakita kamdev. You can see one baby is there inside the womb of mother. I give this example more practical. One baby is there inside the womb of mother. Mother feeling very affection, great affection. Even tortoise, the egg is there long, giving hatching, mental hatching. Mental hatching. Tortoise not going to touch. Tortoise going to put all cake under mud. Because the he tortoise can eat up. Going to put. And for long distance, giving mental hatching. My baby, my baby, my baby, my baby. <laughs> and finally, can discover all baby coming out from that egg. You see, our bhajan is also like mental hatching. Krishna, 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 Krishna. Finally, we can discover Krishna. This is the way. So, mother womb, inside mother's womb, baby is there. Mother feeling affection. Aha. My sweet baby can come out. After that, what? After that, someday baby coming out. Now my question is that when the baby was inside womb, that time affection was there. It's right. But when coming out, hundred times more affection. Hundred times more. Similarly, I can give you example. Air, air, air is everywhere. Where is not air? Full of air. But when I can take a fluid and take air and flow through one one in a whole very very tricky way and a very with artistic way. Then the same sound, you are gum, he is shouting, he is putting throw boom, atom boom, sound is there. But when this this same sound coming out to the fluid fluids eh, by the help of one you know, man who is playing, then it becomes so sweet. Similarly, bhakti is there already inside Bhagavan. But when that bhakti is going inside the heart of a devotee and coming out like for the ear, ear thrown inside the hole of Bhangshi, it becomes sweet. Bhagavan feeling more and more sweet. Bhakti yoga is so sweet, you cannot imagine. By the bliss of Prabhupada and Guru Bhargava, if you develop that kind of capacity, you can realize. Anyway, today I am bound to stop here. Tomorrow I can discuss all in details about that. Excuse me. Tvam bhakti yogena paribhavito hissaro ju asase shutekshita patano nunat pungsham jad jad dhyato urga yubhavayati Tattadapu pranayasi shadonu grahayu vanchakalpadurusikipas. Patitanan papanapavishnamu.